What's going on guys, it's Money Slayer, back with another video, and I know it's been a while, I apologize, um, but I thought why not get back into another video and give you guys my best build in the game. Um, you know, the game's about a couple months old now, uh, we're into what, almost season three, club finals for season two and, or starts in two days, so yeah, we're almost to season three, so we've had a bunch of new uh, traits be added to the game. Um, already have gone through a couple updates with the game so the first thing I want to specify is this video isn't gonna be like my other ones where I give you know my best winger build my best center build my best defensive build goalie build, all that this is mainly my personal favorite build and I've seen this a lot on on YouTube I think it's the new new move this year you know how last year it was the five foot seven snipers and danglers this year I think it's changed and I think anyone that wants to get into this game, especially starting off, um, and anyone that wants to, you know, be a good teammate, not necessarily be the one scoring all the goals, I think this is going to be a very good build for you. So, hopping over to the loadouts, I have three of the same, just so you guys, just so you know, it's the playmaker build we're talking about. So this specific build, I believe, is the best in the game. Um, but I have three different versions for you guys. So one of them is going to be a little bit bigger, more defensive. One of them is going to be about average, so you can do, you know, have fast speed, but also play defense and all that. And then the last one is going to be my super fast build, but not have the best uh, defense. So hopping into the first one, you guys can see we're going six foot one, 199 pounds. Uh, shoot left. Now this specific build. I'm not sure who his name is on YouTube, but he's the one that put out this build. He's already said of how good this build is. So if you want any gameplay or any attestment to that, um, I will try to find out his channel name and I'll leave it down in the description before I post this video. Uh, and then you guys can check out highlights of his of his gameplays. So he's got elite edges, quick pick, magnetic, disciplined IQ for defense, and then core balance. So I think it's this core balance one to get this you have to go into your tenacity uh, section and put your strength up by it's either five or six and then knock your hand eye down two and knock your shot blocking down by two um, as for everything down here basically you want 89 speed so for six one 199 that's very good speed so it goes with that plus four on your speed plus seven on your balance but remember it's going to be probably plus five, plus the boost you put on. Um, and then knock down your agility, your wrist shot accuracy, and your slap shot accuracy by those numbers on the screen. Um, over in power, same thing. You want to put up your puck control, put up your acceleration, then knock down your slap shot power, slap shot, or wrist shot power, and endurance. Um, as for passing, playmakers are already really good at passing, so knock the passing down to 87. Offensive awareness goes on the 87 and then that's where we can put the balance with the 76 stick checking and then plus nine to our defensive awareness putting up to an 87 and Then this build all these are mainly built for centers. I mean, that's the position. I personally play So my face off is one of the things I always make sure to put it up at least a little bit this one I put up plus five um, And then put the deking just down by one 82 deking still really good for for the moves that I attempt to pull off so that's the first build like I said this is more of the bigger defensive build so um, the offensive skills might not be as great but you're still gonna be able to put shots in. and I, I can attest for that I've used all three of these playmaker builds I'm going to show you guys and I've had no no problem scoring goals so getting into the next one this one was my personal favorite before but There'll be a couple things I'm going to go over with you guys why it's it's still in between. I'm still trying to test a couple things out. So 6'1", 180, uh, tape to tape zone ability, which I have to remind you guys, the reason why I love this zone ability over like the Elite Edges one is because you basically get auto sauce pass. So on those two on ones, if you press the pass button, your player is going to basically if there's a stick in the lane automatically sauce the puck over the stick and you can only get that with this zone ability so this is why if you're a playmaker 
this is the only build you can get the zone ability with, use that zone ability. So we got tape to tape, then I put quick pick and magnetic on with controlled wrister and controlled deking. So going down to the stats, obviously with the controlled wrister, we're getting a plus two to our wrist shot accuracy. And then I boost that up to three. Uh, speed goes up to an 89. And then our balance and agility goes down to 70 and 81. And I think that is a very balanced um, offensive technique category. Getting into the power, um, puck control stays at 88. Your endurance goes all the way down to 80. And acceleration goes up to 89. So you got 89 speed, 89 acceleration. And then your slap shot and wrist shot power stay the same at 78. So comparing this one offensively to the other build I just showed you guys, this one is a lot better. You're going to have a lot more accuracy. A lot easier job of pinpointing your shots. Um, as for play style, I put the stick checking up by one, the defensive awareness up by one, knock down the body checking, uh, and the knock down awareness and passing. But still, all those are very, very good. If you wanted to, you could technically put these down by two and then put one of these up. Uh, I'd probably put the put this one up. I don't know what I just took away. Yeah, I'd probably put that up. I'd probably go somewhere like that. Um, and then as for tenacity, I didn't really touch anything here. Shot blocking you want, hand eye you want, strength and durability, it is what it is. I mean, you're not going to be super strong as this build. And then off on the tactic side, face offs up to an 87. This build is very good at Deacon with a 90, and then obviously your discipline and fighting skill just go down. Um, so this has been kind of my personal favorite build. I've used this one mainly all, all couple like last couple months of playing this. I mean, I've only got back into NHL recently, probably like two, three weeks ago. Um, so obviously getting back in, this is worth. I made the change of these builds. So going back, we go down to this last one, which is my personal favorite as in the speed category. You got 6'1", 165, so you're very, very on the light end of, of weight. But we got, on this one, we got tape to tape, magnetic, and elite edges. So I say no matter what you're using, if you're when you're using these builds, the Playmaker builds, always run magnetic on it. I don't think that first build I showed you guys has magnetic, but the combination with tape to tape or even elite edges, that magnetic ability of being able to corral the puck in while you're in stride, it's just it's just so nice to have. So definitely recommend it. So like I said, tape to tape, magnetic, elite edges for those. I think this is the one that advanced the ability of the deep opponents at top speed. Or not that one, sorry. Uh, do, 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 which one is that under? That was advanced maneuvering or whatever, yeah. With the ability to turn tight to corners while retaining high speed. So, like I said, it's one of those nice ones to have when you're in a corner or you're making a cut, you can just keep the speed that you're at. Um, and then as for my boost, I do controlled passing and controlled deking plus four on both of those. So coming down to our uh, technique, wrist shot power's at an 83, wrist shot or slap shot's at an 82, speed's at an 89, balance is at 70, and agility's at 82. Um, once again, you have the offensive ability with this build. And then... Getting in the power, I keep the slap shot power and the wrist shot power at their base, base thing. And then I boost the acceleration all the way up to 90. And then I just knock the puck control down by 2. 86 puck control is still very, very good. I have had no problem controlling the puck with this build. I'm um, getting in the play style this work. Once again, it kind of switches between a couple things because this build, you see, we got 94 passing. 88 offensive awareness, so very offensive minded. Whereas I just knocked my uh, defensive stuff down by one. So 77 awareness, 77 stick checking. And then the body checking is actually out of 73 on this build, even though we're 165 pounds. So it's very, it's very nice to have that body checking. It's the highest body checking compared to all these builds. And we still got the top speed. So that's a good, good combination there. Um, and then tenacity, same thing. I usually keep my shot blocking at the default. I keep the hand eye at default. And then the durability and strength kind of get knocked with the, no matter what like I'm doing. If it's just the weight or so, they just go down automatically. 
And then for tactics, we run an 88 face-off and an 80, 89 deking. We got a little bit more flexibility there because we put that control deking on, so we get it all the way up to an 89. And knock down the discipline, the fighting skill. Personally, myself, over the last couple games, I've been using this specific build, but before I made the switch to this build, I was running this one. So these are my two favorites. This one I threw in here because it's probably the most versatile one where you're still getting offense, but it's also very good defensively. And there's really no flaws with it. So if you want one that has no flaws, definitely go with this one. If you want one that has a, the kind of co good combination with defense and offense, this one's probably your best choice with the, the octopus uh, superstar ability. And then if you want one that's gonna give you the max speed, good offense, good face-ups, good deking, definitely go with this one. Um, I'll make sure to follow up with this, with this video with another one if you guys request down below. If there's a certain build you want, so like maybe I'll give you guys the best defensive builds, um, ghoulie builds, winger builds, just all that. So I can, I can follow up if you guys want me to. Um, but just wanted to get this video out to you guys now so you guys can enjoy a new build to start a new season coming up. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.